All right, here we go. <clears throat> first things first. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I wouldn't be here if I wasn't for you. I want to bring you all up in here today. Thank you. <sighs> Where's my better half, Lance? I need you to stand up, Lance. Because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't you. Today is his birthday. Happy birthday, baby. Happy birthday. <laughs> I got my girls out there, girls. Mama's going to make you proud today. Yeah, yeah mama. <laughs> All right, a little bit about me. I come from a really big family. My grandparents together had 18 children. Two bedrooms in West Virginia. It was kind of tight. But my grandmother was so smart. She used to say things like, you know what, Ikea? Do you want to be a winner when you grow up? And I would be like, absolutely, Grandma, I want to be a winner. She's like, well, you better stop hanging around them losers. You know, I'm like, okay. So when I got a little bit older, it resonated with me exactly what she was trying to say. I mean, she wanted me to be a winner. And then my mother, out of the 18 children, she was the only one who graduated from high school and graduated from college. <laughs> she went on to um, work for the government. So in the daytime, she worked for the government. In the evening, she cleaned the government offices. A lot of times, she'd take me with her, and she would say, I can't, do you like this office? It was the executive offices. Crown molding, mahogany desk, wainscoting. I was like, yeah, Mom, these are really nice offices. And she was like, you know what? You can have an office just like this when you get older. And I was like, Mom, do you really think so? Absolutely, Haikia, you have to make that decision. Either you're going to be behind the desk, in front of the desk, or you're going to own all of the desk. And I thought, wow. If my mother believed in me, then I've got to make her proud. She absolutely said, you can do it. You've got to bring that champion out of you. And I believed her. You know, my mother didn't clean those offices for long. She went on to be a Golden Poet Award winner. Not once, not twice. Three-time Golden Poet Award winner. She found the champion in her. Her mother brought it out of her, and she passed it down to me. And I'm so proud of her. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to bring that champion out of us because we all have it. We just have to bring it up out of us. What if I told you that when I was in the back, I learned a secret? The secret is everyone that is here at Elite Academy today gets an automatic Pro 10 slot. Would that make you happy? Absolutely would make you happy. Imagine if you already knew that you had an automatic Pro 10 slot. All you had to do was when you left the Lead Academy, all you had to do was go tell some friends about our company and our opportunity. Then Pro 10 was yours. You know what you would do after today was over? You'd be running like your hair's on fire, just like Jill Campbell says. You would be like, you said no? Huh. I don't care. You would be like, oh, you just hung up in my face? I don't care. Because you knew that you already had a Pro 10 slot. So the outcome really didn't matter to you. You had your Pro 10. And it's, that's the kind of championship we have to bring up out of us. I have to tell you, of course, I didn't say that. But it's not too far-fetched. Everyone that is in this room, we all have an opportunity to be Pro 10. And I'm going to tell you how we're going to unleash that. <clears throat> okay, here's what you're going to do. In the morning when you wake up, you're going to go to the bathroom, and you're going to brush your teeth, and you're going to use that time when you plug in that flat iron, and you plug in that blow dryer, and then you plug in that shaver. You're going to use that time to bring that champion out of you. You're going to be in that bathroom like, oh. I'm going to do those meetings, you're doing your hair, you're going to be like, I'm going to call all those people that I want to call, I'm going to run, I'm going to run, I'm going to do everything that I need to do. And you're going to look in the mirror and you're going to say, you are a champion, you are amazing, you are on fire. Yes, you're going to pump yourself up. Because here's what's going to happen in actual <clears throat> When you go to leave the bathroom, you're going to turn around, you're going to go to leave the bathroom, and that chump is going to show up sitting right here. And that chump's going to say, for real, you know you're not making no calls. 
You know you're not doing any meetings. As a matter of fact, you're going to turn around and get right back in the bed. But we're not going to let that happen. We have to let that champion talk louder. Because I'm going to let you know that the more successful you get, the louder that chump starts talking. And if we learn to monitor that right now, that by the time you're elite distributors and pro tens, your champion will be out talking that chump. You have to make this happen. You've got to make that silence that chump inside of you. You've got to get your neck off of that swivel from the chump to the champion and stay in champion mode at all times. You know, Martin Luther King did not say, I have a dream and I am the only one in that dream. He said, I have a dream, and I see all of you in that dream. Martin Luther King knew that we were champions long before we even saw ourselves as champions. He knew it. Every week, Joel Osteen comes on, and you know what he says? Discover the champion in you. You know why? Because he knows that we have champions in us. He knows that it's there. We have to dig down deep into the depths of our soul and muster up and bring that champion out so that it speaks so much louder than that chump. My grandmother believed in my mother. My mother believed in me. And I believe in all of you. I believe that there are champions sitting out there that you really don't even realize it yourself. And that's why we've got to unleash it. Did you think that when I walked into the Raven's office that I let that chump talk? When I walked into that Raven's office, that champion was talking so loud. By the time I left, you would have thought I won a Super Bowl. I was like, I'm a champion. You need to listen to what we have. You got to listen to this opportunity. And they all agreed. They're like, Hikea. It was your passion. It was how you said it. Because I felt like a champion. So you guys tell me, am I wrong about this opportunity? Absolutely not. If you want to be a champion, if you want to laugh your way to pro ten elite status, you got to hang out with people like Skip Campbell or Herbert Harris. If you want to be inspired, motivated, if you want to have someone that has back, have in your corner, you need to hang out with people like Carrie Dickey, Jill Campbell, or Linda. They are champions. And trust me, every minute I get, I try to hang out with them because I want to be a champion also. Because they inspire me. I am not wrong. You guys are not wrong. We are in this all together. One team, one dream. We're all champions. I'm Hikea from Cleveland, Ohio. I'm a champion.